Hi, this is Bijamax once again. This is a follow up screencast based on the feedback I received on my screencast MATLAB neural network in C sharp application. Uh, most of the users uh, found it difficult to pass a two dimensional array from uh, a C sharp application to MATLAB. Uh, so you can see that, uh, yeah, I agree with the point actually. Um, we have to like create all those MW array and um, new MW array and new double and this is actually a bit uh, I mean like this syntax is a bit uh, difficult to understand um, uh, initially when for uh, for the programmers so um, today's screencast I'm sh going to show a workaround to um, uh, to fix this issue or uh, fix this syntax problems um, let's begin with the uh, the uh, MATLAB M file, the XORnet MATLAB file. You can see that it in it accepts an input of one by two matrix, and uh, it's calculate. I um, mean, like it loads the uh, already trained network and uh, uh, do some calculations and return the results. Is a results is a single uh, value. Let's run this program to understand what's actually. I'm telling. So you can see that I'm passing a um, one by two matrix. And then returning the results. I'm going to uh, slightly modify this program, where I'm going to accept input as a, um, a string, and uh, I'm adding a statement here, input, and I'm converting str my string to a numerical array, which I pass. So basically, I will show you how this is going to help in a moment. So I'm converting this to str2 to num as a numeric array. So I am ex uh, expecting a uh, string input instead of a um, numeric array. So how do we actually call this? Let's let's look at that. So instead of um, array, I have to pass a string. So I get the same results. So the, what I'm trying to achieve is that I'm trying to achieve the uh, minimi um, or minimize the syntax difference between the MATLAB and the C-sharp application. So that the same way you pass uh, uh, type an array in MATLAB and it creates a numeric array and the same thing you can do from the C-sharp application. So for example, if I type um, in MATLAB something like, sorry, something like one comma zero, it will create an array for me. So same thing I'm going to do uh, from the C-sharp application. For that, I have to convert um, this uh, this particular piece of code into an .NET assembly. So let's do that. Let's bring up our deploy magic tool, deploy tool, sorry. So here comes our magic deploy tool let's maximize it so that everybody can see so open our project here is our text XOR project open project so and just build with these changes the compilation started so the compilation completed and the files actually copy to Word I need to check it out So files copy to Bijumax, my screencast and sample. Let's go and check. Uh, one second. So here is our new modified uh, district folder where we got a latest assembly with these changes we have made. Now let's refer this from our .NET application, C sharp application. Let me show you my dotnet application let's see where it is refer from i need to change it properties sorry so reference my exonet is referred from which location let's remove it and let's add it again from that location that will be better
now I'm referring that uh, modified DLL in my project so I got it now let's check the syntax change here now we have we know that we have changed the input parameter now we can forget about all those um, MW array numeric array of uh, stuffs and we can directly pass a string which is of type MW care array okay which is of the type input and I can directly pass something like same way um, we normally type in uh, in the MATLAB so one will pass one let's let's use the same zero and one okay zero sorry zero and one so this is go um, actually we are going to pass here and see the output let's run this program and let's uh, press this sim so it's it's actually calculating the values as you can see we got the uh, same result so this is how we actually uh, get rid of all these uh, metrics mw numeric array and passing these kind of things so just by modifying simply modifying our matlab file and uh, we got the same results just accepts the uh, a string as input and converting that to the uh, a numeric array and uh, the advantage what we are actually getting here we can actually use the same uh, syntax as we type in in the matlab and we are passing an M mw car array and say and you can see I haven't changed the output array you can use the same same thing for the output you can actually ex um, uh, return a string um, array um, just like in matlab the format and you just converted in your c sharp application uh, um, and convert it in a uh, format that can be like used to display in your grid or something like that so there is a function to convert say you have a math um, double array one two three say just stem this a a equal to one two three four and if you want to convert this matrix to a string then you can use a uh, math to string uh, sorry str to math uh, matrix to string I believe sorry I'm typing something wrong here oops math to string sorry okay so you get a string array of the, in this format and your application just needs to like uh, accept a mw car array and just convert the this to um, the the format you want to display so um like i'm um, there i mean like this is a piece of cake and there is an overhead um, actually behind it you have to like pay for this like uh, if you are passing a big matrix then you have to uh, first convert into a string then matlab again converts back to a numeric uh, array and get the results and convert it back to a uh, uh, mw uh, i'm like again a string so there is an um, uh, performance cost associated with it if you are um, you are not able to like um, uh, pass an array using mw array go ahead with this approach and uh, for a two dimensional array or 100 by 100 it uh, doesn't much uh, affect the performance at all so thank you and uh, do post your feedback and i hope you actually uh, get rid of this problem of passing mw array by just uh, converting changing your m file which accepts a, uh, a string 
so uh, keep in touch see you next time bye